Paige Cabana. And I'm Rhea Wyatt. We're reporting live from the Columbia River. We're here with the balloon dilemma. 20 passengers on a hot air balloon, eight supposedly pushed off, 12 still missing. Yes, we're on our way. We have just been notified that a body has been recovered. I'm here at the Trail Library where William Shakespeare's body has been found. Sadly, dead. William Shakespeare was a poet, an actor, and a playwright. But his contributions to society wasn't even that significant. Apparently, there has been questions arose that he did not even write his own plays. So, is he really that important? I'm here at the Trail Electronics Store where Steve Jobs has been found dead. Though this is traumatic, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard. You see, Steve Jobs was a very negative man. His family donated for 20 years anonymously to multiple charities because he wouldn't do it himself. He was a very selfish man. Considering he invented Apple, though that is remarkable, I really think that there would have been plenty of other people inventing his invention already, if not better. For example, one of our survivors, Bill Gates. So my question is, do we really need Apple products? Really, they ruined thousands of lives. I'm standing here where Leonardo da Vinci's body has just been recovered. Sadly, he is dead, but his legacy will still live on in his art. That is the only thing that he has accomplished, his art. Painting, sculpturing, and architecture was what he is known for. So is it really that big of a deal that he's no longer with us? So Leonardo da Vinci, there's other artists out there, like the one who painted this mural. I'm here at the Trail Music Store to report John Lennon's body has been found here dead. Ironic, considering this is the place he shines best. John Lennon had used his music to protest against social causes he believed in and the Vietnam War. He co-founded the Beatles. They became so popular that John Lennon decided to state they are more popular than Jesus. This man who once symbolized peace broke his relationship with his band and his fans. This caused anger in millions of people. We don't need John Lennon. Nobody does. In fact, there's millions of other musicians. I'm here at the Bottle Depot where David Katz's body has been recovered. Sadly, he is dead. His theory of the plastic bank is a solution to help plastic waste getting into the ocean. As of now, there's no 100% hard proof that this is working. So, in the long term, we need to think of a new solution to make up for all this plastic. And David Katz's idea is not helping us in the long run. So in fact, how effective is this solution? We're still suffering from this today. I'm here where Emmeline Pankhurst has been found dead. Emmeline founded the Women's Social Political Union and she fought very hard for women's rights. However, there are so many more women already fighting for this movement. In fact, Emmeline Pankhurst only lived to see women's suffrage given in 1918, which still had limitations. Which means she actually died before women were given full rights in 1928. So really, did she make that much of a difference if she died before full rights were really given? There is so much more movement already happening for women. I don't think she was really necessary, so... I am here at the Trail Walking Bridge where Mark Zuckerberg's body has been recovered. Sadly, he is dead. He was the founder of Facebook, but Facebook ta has taken over everybody's life. People are glued to their phones over this one stupid app called Facebook. And Facebook has stories now, so they're clearly jealous of Snapchat. Mark Zuckerberg, not that important. We're here with an eyewitness, Katie Schubert, on the Facebook topic. So Katie, do you have Facebook? Um, no, recently I just deleted it because it was a waste of time and I think there's a lot of false information and I can't believe what's real or fake anymore, so I just deleted it. How long did you have Facebook for? Um, I'd say like a couple years, but I couldn't really tell you the exact time. You got over it really quick, hey? Yeah. Do you think that your friends are obsessed with this app? Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Thanks for sharing with us, Katie. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm here at Chevrolet dealership where Elon Musk's body has been recovered. Sadly, he is dead. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, electric automobiles, trying to get rid of the gasoline automobiles. But here I am 
surrounded by at least 100 gasoline-fueled automobiles. Electric cars are trying to take over gasoline cars, which in reality, gasoline cars are just one of the many reasons that cause pollution. <laughs> and in fact, electric cars are way overpriced. Gasoline cars are way more popular to buy and affordable for minimum wage. He is also known for his involvement with SpaceX. Having rockets in space would, al would have already came about because of NASA. So in reality, would we lose anything if we did not have Elon Musk? We have just been informed that 12 survivors from the Boone Dilemma have been recovered. Our first survivor, Bill Gates. Bill Gates was the founder of our largest software company, Microsoft. One of the reasons why we didn't need Steve Jobs. Although his death was sad, Bill J Bill <laughs> Although his death was sad, Bill Gates's <sighs> Bill Gates. Sorry, wait, okay, got this. Although his death was sad, Bill Gates oh although his death was sad, the fact that Bill Gates survived is a miracle. Bill Gates was such an incredible and remarkable man. He is he has donated billions of dollars to multiple charities for multiple causes. His main focus is education, investments in low-income communities, world health, and lastly, international and domestic issues. For example, he has donated $50 million in 2017 to Dementia Discovery Fund. And another example, $50 million as well, towards uh, working in Alzheimer's research. Unlike Steve Jobs, Bill Gates is an extreme family man. In fact, in 2014, Bill Gates stepped down from chairsman from Microsoft and wanted to devote his life to his family and charities. In fact, him and his wife have created the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. As you can see, he is an important man in development in society, advancement in technology, and just a nice guy all around, even though he is one of the world's richest guys. The second survivor, Mother Teresa. She devoted her time, money, and efforts to charity work. She has received many awards, such as the Nobel Peace Prize, and has created 517 missions in over 100 different countries. Her favorite quote, peace begins with a smile. And many people live by that to this day. Our third survivor, Sir Winston Churchill. He became the Prime Minister from 1940 to 1945 and from 1951 to 1955. He became a very big national figure from a very young age. In fact, he led World War II and held resistance against German Nazis. In me and Rhea's world, he was the greatest man of all time, considering he allied US and the Soviet Union during World War II. And by this, he kept resistance. And for this reason, I am so glad that he is a survivor. Me as well. Our fourth survivor. Wait, sorry. Our fourth survivor, Charles Darwin, a man who made revolutionary contributes and ideas to explain how species can adapt to their environment. Without this theory, I fear what else would have taken its place. The theory of evolution explains species starting one way, then evolving to another way to help in their environment the theory of evolution, something we still talk about to this day, because it's just a fact. Species evolve. Next we have our fifth survivor, Walt Disney. Now, Walt Disney is a unique survivor. Some of these survivors grew up into success, meaning that their families were mostly aristocrats. However, this wasn't the case for Walt Disney. Walt Disney took opportunity upon himself he went to college and found his friend and co-worker, Ub Iwerks. Ub Iwerks, his brother Roy, and Walt Disney himself created Walt Disney's studio. Growing up, me and Rhea have always watched Mickey Mouse. Little did we know the history behind this little mouse. Walt Disney's first creation, Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie brought joy to many people across the world. Our sixth survivor, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is a former president of South Africa. He was president from 1994 to 1999. He later spent 
27 years in prison for trying to overthrow the government. After prison, he left and worked to achieve human rights and better future for everyone in South, South Africa. And he was the first African-American president of South Africa. He ensured that South African people would get the rights that they deserve and in the time they were needed. Yep. Our seventh survivor is Tim Berners-Lee. Now Tim Berners-Lee invention of the World Wide Web, everybody uses today. The World Wide Web blows everybody's minds and it helps spread knowledge throughout the whole world, no matter where you are and when you are there. So I think that Tim Berners-Lee is one of the most important people considering his invention to help many of these inventors like Bill Gates invent his very own software program. None of these computer programmers and software makers wouldn't even have the first clue what to do without a real computer. Now, which leads to my next survivor, number eight, Leo Bakeland. Leo Bakeland invented the first thermosetting plastic. We wouldn't have nearly as much technology as we do have today without this invention of Bakelite. The ninth survivor is Thomas Edison an American inventor biz and businessman, America's greatest inventor. He invented the first able light bulb and his other inventions include the telegraph, uh, the universal stock ticker, um, storage batteries, and a camera for motion pictures. If it weren't for Thomas Edison, we wouldn't be able to use lights today. On to our 10th survivor, Martin Luther King Jr. Fuck. Now Martin Luther King Jr. was an activist for American civil rights. He fought for creation of the U.S. Civil Rights Act in 1964 and voting rights in 1965. He also got the Nobel Peace Prize. If it wasn't for Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights in America would not nearly be as equal as they are today, especially for black people, which is very important why he survived. The 11th survivor, is Albert Einstein. Now, Albert Einstein is probably the most popular scientist today. Everybody knows who Albert Einstein is. The physicist who developed the theory of relativity he contributed his time to the problems of the theory of radiation. If it weren't for Albert Einstein, science today would be so much different and probably not accurate at all. And I'm here to announce our last survivor, the Big 12, Johann Gutenberg. <laughs> Johann Gutenberg was the inventor of the printing press, the most important invention in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the people on our list, in order to do the things that they did, would need knowledge. How do you get knowledge? Information. And how do you get information? By spreading it. How would you spread it if you didn't have literature, books, or sources? Before Johann Gutenberg's printing press, only one copy, or maybe two copies, would have to be made by the author himself, by hand. Therefore, Johann Gutenberg is the most important person throughout all of our survivors. And that's it for your morning news with Raya and Paige. Tune in next week when we talk about the weather. <laughs> <laughs>